for each other, which was really nice. Uh, celebrate the things that were good and pray for the issues. Very well organized, uh, very professionally done, and we'd also have some form of devotional that would be relevant to what the council was doing. It was challenging, it was wonderful. Most of the time it was very fulfilling. It's an absolute opportunity for growth and I could really see how God worked in my life and in our church. Persistence. The same person asked me every year for three years. I love this church so much. It's a unique church. It's a church that God loves so much and He manifests His his power and his love in many, many ways. So that was one of the reasons I said yes. When things are well organized, challenges don't appear to be that daunting. In many ways, I enjoyed it uh, more than I expected to, mostly because of very positive feedback from people within the church. I felt young and inexperienced, and I felt not really equipped, but as I know now, who God calls, He equips. I realized that the attributes are very diverse. If we all thought the same way, it would be uninteresting and the church wouldn't grow. We have to serve with humility and with integrity and transparency because we want to serve our church. So the key attribute is really being yourself in Christ. It's so easy to nominate. What you can do is you pray about it in your heart and then you approach that person and you can ask them, would they be willing to serve? If they say yes, then you can pick up a nomination form uh, from the front desk or go online to unionchurch.ph and you can pick up a nomination form and you can nominate them there. If you are being asked, it's not casual, it's not spur of the moment, it's because God has led someone to ask you. And that is the single most important thing, that you are following God's way.